this is sort of a special episode as we're going to talk a little bit about time clickers from last week. Um, sorry we're starting up late today. Um, my uh, schedule got kind of thrown back. Um, a number of things happened. Anyhow, so time clickers. Um, I've actually been playing this uh, since last week. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a bunch of time cubes uh, in this run. And uh, I've switched over to the uh, main website because it said here that on the artifacts page originally, right, like if you want to be able to use artifacts, it said here that you had to go to the main site to play it there. So right here, oh, that's nice. It must be a new patch. Uh, so this is my time. My DPS has been multiplied by 500 and nearly 50 times. Um, I've purchased basically every available artifact there is here. Um, there's some stuff here for abilities, like increasing the length of your abilities and making them better in some fashion. Um, reducing the, the time between skills and such. Uh, over here we've just got like multiply damage, multiply particle ball, rocket launcher, spread rifle, flag cannon, pulse pistol. Spread rifle never misses, particle ball, ball does another double damage. Um, convert uh, white blocks to red blocks, uh, fly can never misses. Uh, rocket splash hits diagonally, um, bunch of stuff. When you, whenever you click, you do extra damage here. Or, um, it changing some of these things change some of the blocks into rainbow blocks, which you get more money and multiplying how much money you get from different things. And then you can like upgrade what level you start on, and you can upgrade um, like how often time cubes show up. They only show up on like boss levels and stuff. And then um, there's a chance that's like a base 25% chance of the spawning, and then you can have the amount of them show up that spawn get increased. You can decrease the number of enemies per wave. Uh, you can start with more gold. This is a big, really important ability here. Uh, just starting with the game with each more gold because when you when you um, time warp here, right, you get to get all your your cubes back, um, and you get to uh, uh, add these to your score here, and then you can spend them on new artifacts. And then uh, the time cubes never actually get really fully spent. They each of them add this DPS bonus, and um, they. Uh, then that DPS bonus never goes away, no matter if you spend them or not. So that's, that's a huge advantage. This is this this game's actually pretty much the same game as another game that was like Click Your Heroes, uh, which has just got the same model, the same kind of abilities, the same kind of upgrades for your team and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very 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 similar, except for this big change that your your hero souls, as it were, never actually stopped contributing to the team. Um, so yeah, I mentioned that um, that I played this game prior before on Congregate, um, and like so I kind of like scoped it out a little bit. I actually played it for a little bit longer than I might have said in the video, like a, just a little tiny bit, but um, it never really hooked me. I kind of just didn't see the point. Um, like it was it was goal right. I mean it was fine, but it wasn't that. Uh, it's not like it, like I haven't really gotten addicted to it. Um, like, so in the, in the previous games that I've played in the stream, like, I'll t continue playing them a little bit after I stop streaming with them, and some of the games I've actually finished, like Overlord, or Overlord, you can actually finish in a, in a real, realistic time frame. Um, it actually has kind of like an endgame and stuff, which is kind of just destroy all the cities, and that's basically it. Um, and then, um, uh, the first game, Clicker Tree, uh, I got all the way up there to the top, and then saw some more trees and stuff, and finish that, um, it was able to purchase the end game button. Uh, this is, like, arguably, like, the end game would be once you get all the achievements, and I've got quite a lot of the achievements now. Um, so, like, you know, the, the game ends, essentially, when you get to arena level 3000, um, which is also, like, yeah, both these achievements here are the end. The ones I've worked out that are the, the last ones you'll finish in the, the game. Um, everything else is, uh, something that you get done way earlier before then. And I'm only on level um, 487, and I've been playing for a whole week, right? So th this game really got its hooks in. It really became addictive once this tree uh, became available on the main site. It turned into from being something you kind of fiddle with to being like, you can see the entirety of the game ahead of you, and look, all these things you can buy, and oh, look, if I get like this ability, right, which lets me start with each time warp with more gold, and then I get like this ability, which lets me start on a higher level, and I get some of these guys, right? These like have a big synergy together. I start levels 
with a, with more acceleration, more gold, so I can zoom up really fast. Um, if once I hit level 100, I can just keep getting more time cubes, like, in a big way. And then I can get closer to starting on level 100, right? So that way I just kind of hit the time warp button, start gaining more cubes when it's, like, fast and, you know, the game's kind of crashing by itself. And then you just kind of hit the button again, hit the button again, hit the button again. And then you can, like, you can get some other stuff here to just to... Uh, uh, kind of expand your ability to reach higher to get to a higher level in the game because a certain point here uh, It gets so slow that, that the using the The mouse to click here or in this case. I'm using a macro off of joy key that lets me um, Click 30 times a second uh, This is like the only way to really clear stuff and like okay if I don't use this thing here, right? It's still really powerful um, this like my team DPS here is 850 right and my bolt damage here isn't that much, but my click ability is being multiplied by all those artifacts. I do like a ton of damage whenever I click on something that's like being targeted by one of my allies here. You can see it's kind of glowing. So like this actually becomes the primary way that you advance. And when you hit a boss level, you basically have to do it um, to, uh, you have to click stuff to keep going. So the game really wants to, like you to come back to it like every five minutes or so. Like it, the longer you play, the the more time you have to devote like to really advance at like coming back because every every single boss level becomes kind of like a you need the player needs to engage the game to keep going so I mean like in clicker heroes uh, you can actually get like these ancient abilities which you spend hero souls on you only have like an option of like one of four of them at, the, at any given time right so you're not really sure how many of them there are um, and then that was I was stuck on that game for a really long time actually um, and I just broke away from it um, at some point. I actually, it's a funny story, all right? So I um, I was on the bus one day, and I was actually thinking about Clicker Heroes and how best to optimize from where I was and where I was going uh, on the bus, and then I missed my stop, and it set me back like 15 minutes, and that, that was enough to realize that if I can't catch my bus stop because I'm zoning out about this game when I'm not at my computer, and, like, I, I'd be at my computer, and I would, like, click, and I'd click, 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 and use my macro and do stuff. And the game slowly became, like, oh, I'd come in and check on it, like, once in a while to i check on it more often. And then I got these abilities cooldowns, like, really cool down here. And then um, I, uh, I would just be, like, constantly watching, because, like, I would need to be, like, here every five minutes. Some of these earliest abilities are pretty useful, and they come back every five minutes. Um, and then it became a thing where there's a, uh, so some of the ancients in that game, you can spec your build, your character, your account sort of, to do better when you're not at the computer. So you do more damage and gain more gold when you're not looking at it and not playing, act actively clicking. And, uh, there's some other ancients which are actually way more powerful, which activate better when you're constantly clicking. So there's a ancient in that game that the more you click you get a click combo and the click combo increases your damage uh, over time like so you, you every time every click you make in enhances your combo by you know 1x 2x 3x and then each one of those levels of combo um, they uh, they increase your maximum damage your your they multiply your DPS so if you're just if you never stop clicking uh, you, that's the fastest and strongest way to gain damage in that game I'm just going to hit this refresh and get all my abilities back. So I can, so you can see here, I'm just going to mow down this thing. This boss would be impossible otherwise. Um, kind of made it my goal to get to 500, and then I'm going to uh, not play this game ever again. Um, yeah, so yeah, this uh, so this game giving you kind of all of the the skin the schema the schema of the entire game all in one go, uh, and just says, hey, hey, you can just complete the grid. Just get all the trees, get all the skills. Not a big deal, right? Not a big deal. Um, well, it's kind of a big deal, because if you see back here, actually, like, I've gotten, like, 7 out of 200 levels on this ability, and I've gotten, like, 12 out of 200 on this ability, and I've only gotten 31 out of 500 on this ability. And, like, you know, you can see here, like, I've got another 1,400 to go here, right? But, like, if I'm going to go back here... Um, and show you here, like this is two, 12 out of 200, it costs me 600 right now, and I'm only at 12. 650, and I'm only at level 12. Right, this is going to buy me maybe two levels off of that. I'm going to be playing this game for the next six months to a year, if I continue to play this game. Um, and it's not, it's not really enjoyable after a while, it's, uh, actually was playing this Sunday uh, while I was doing some other stuff, and, um, 
kind of waiting for some other things to to accomplish and uh, listen to a podcast, and I start feeling ill, um, just just like just kind of gross about how like much time I'd kind of devoted to this game and like where it was going and how there's just basically nothing left to do. It was just more more the same, more of what I've been doing and. Uh, just looking at all these cubes, uh, maybe it's like a part of the blinking and part of the, um, just the kind of strobing effect a little bit. I've actually turned off, like, you might, this is all very different, I'm sure. Like, I turned off a bunch of stuff, like the shaking on critical hits and the post-screen effects, right? So if I could turn that back on, it's a lot glowier and it's sh you can see all shaking. Like, this game is... I'll just do it for a little bit longer so you get a better interpretation of what's going on here. This game is basically, like... And it's default, pretty nausea-inducing over a long, long period of time. Um, I'm not gonna. I don't know how long I've played this, just staring at this. Um, but it, there's a possibility that I played this for like an hour the other day, straight, just doing this, just tracing the, my little shooter across the screen. Um, but yeah, after a while, like I just kind of like realized, I get that watershed mo moment. I, I played like Clicker Heroes for like a while, quite a while. Um, and uh, it took me a while to get actually get off the game, uh, and I finally got there. I've been kind of building up a resistance to these things. Uh, maybe that's part of my reason for doing this. It's going like I, I'm I'm still curious to see what's out there. It's a really interesting genre in terms of like the meta narrative of gaming, like because you can play like World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is basically a clicker game, and I'm not I'm not like joking. It's it's pretty much just a clicker game with a lot more bells and whistles and there's more failure states this like like for instance you can't really fail in a, an idle game like this um but like you can you can die in world of warcraft or you can you know do something not optimally and your your raid wipes and stuff like that, and you have to start over right so there's a lot of teamwork stuff there's more stuff going on but the underlying mechanic of the game is you gain experience you get stronger you gain more abilities you which lets you gain more experience and gain more abilities and there's more content to see for to see for sure. Like 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 this game's never gonna go with hey at level one thousand. Hey, there's like crafting professions now, right? Whereas in WoW would do that, um, but we like you learn to do some new things, and new areas, and new concepts to learn. Like you get to the raid system, and you know you have to learn how to interact in the raid and stuff like that. And there's you know that's there's some more stuff going on there, right? Which is interesting, but. Um, yeah, like this, 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 this kind of like is the it's the reward system of a game like that, except without any of the extra stuff. And it's important to note that that um, like World of Warcraft is a Skinner box. This is a Skinner box. If you haven't heard that term before, before it's uh, there's a psychologist named B. F. Skinner who um, uh, who was this guy who liked to experiment with like human behavioral conditioning and. Uh, he kind of got around to event through it. Part of his work was he, he figured out that there you could like kind of theoretically put someone in this box and you could uh, give them rewards at set intervals, and that's great. But the person inside the box is way more um, enthused by getting random rewards. Like they'll spend way more time pushing this button, right? If they push this button, say every time ten times they push the button, they get a, a treat, right? They'll push the button like ten times and they'll get a treat, and they'll do, they'll do it another ten times and get a treat, and then another ten times and get a treat maybe, and then they'll just like you know maybe they're done with treats for a little bit, um, but if they press the button and maybe one out of every five to twenty five times they get uh, the button, they push the button, they get the treat. They'll actually sit there pushing the button a lot more often. Uh, that's a really I probably screwed that explanation up a little bit, but. Um, you know, it's that's the basic concept of the Skinner box. And actually, World of, World of Warcraft, um, they hired a psychologist to help them uh, design their reward systems to be more addictive, um, to be m uh, not really addictive, be more engaging as the word it goes, right? And the more more uh, desirable by players, right? So they don't actually really go out and say addictive, but that's you know, whenever you build a Skinner box, that's basically what you're doing. You're trying to build a system of engagement that your player doesn't necessarily want to be free of, right? Which could be a good or bad thing. Sometimes you can, like, just the understanding of how a Skinner box works can, like, give you the keys to design an experience which is uh, rewarding. Um, but there's kind of, like, this this 
uh, dark side um, where you just never let go. You just kind of build a system that, that slowly the rewards get farther and farther apart. Like every time the mo the person in the box gets a treat, right? That like the average number of times they need to press the button gets like increased by five, right? And then they will keep going. They'll keep clicking over and over again because sometimes they get a treat like right away after the getting the last treat, and that's really exciting. But then it gets slower and slower and slower, right? So it's like um, it's you know it's consuming your time. You have to spend your time to win the game, essentially. Um, so yeah, it's like uh, I'm probably not going to be able to beat this boss right just this moment. Um, so yeah, I mean like there's well that that stuff aside, right? It's kind of like it's part of my interest in clicker games is kind of just seeing what they have available. And some of the clicker games are actually pretty innovative. Um, and it's kind of like interesting to see what new uh, mechanics they put out and to see what, um, to see kind of like where they're going. Some of them are more divisive, like uh, Adventure Capitalism, um, which I played before, which you might see in the stream here. I could actually boot it up after this, but I'm honestly probably won't because I'm just going to tell you what about what it's about right here is it's very um, it's very similar to Overlord uh, which I might have mentioned during that stream um, but adventure capitalism compared to Overlord like you can win Overlord and there's a there's a system which lets you you know advance quickly to kind of get to the end game and there's basically an end game right um, in adventure capitalism the end game is I don't know it's really far out there it's assuming you get all the achievements right that's the, the win condition or right? you buy all the stuff all the upgrades um, but, uh, yeah, like, with, with Adventure Capitalism, you, each successive, like, entity, like, over here on the side of the screen, you purchase, right? They're all operating at a different speed here, and this is very similar to a, uh, um, that kind of system, where all of your guys, like, these guys here move really fast, uh, this guy moves really slow, and just, like, doop, he did his thing, doop, he did his thing. This guy in the middle here, he's at the, the end of a, uh, um, upgrade curve. As soon as I hit this button and upgrade him uh, one more time, he's going to slow way down. Just that's why it's completely red right now. But um, the adventure capitalism doesn't it, like it doesn't really let you get that much faster on the speed, and I don't think it lets you click to to actually activate and increase the speed like Overlord did. With like the, you can't like click to make them work faster. You can't whip them, which is actually a great innovation from Overlord to adventure capitalism. But adventure capitalism is probably the most divisive most Skinner Boxian clicker that I've seen so far and it is just super super divisive it just it just wants you it just wants you to constantly check in on it and I was playing that for a little while and I, I gave up on it after I think two weeks because um, it well it just got me um, but it also was like I realized that the, the, the advancement in that game is incredibly slow it does this neat, the, the neat thing that Overload does is where you, like if you manage to get all of your upgrade entities up to like level 25, right? Getting them, all of your team up to level 25 gives all of them a big bonus, right? Just cool, right? That's a big, big thing. But it's just incredibly slow. It's incredibly, it's an incredibly slow game. Um, Galaxy Clicker is another game that's kind of similar that um, actually has a reward curve that where you, every time you hit the time warp button, you kind of go back because that's a f common feature in Clickers is the ability to go back over and get in a new kind of currency which increases your overall DPS and makes it, you know, even faster to get back to where you were and then potentially even, you know, more capable of getting higher and faster. Like basically to get ahead in these games you got to restart. You got to hit the restart button over and over again, right? Which forces you to re-experience the old content again, but you know, it um it helps you go through the new the higher end content uh, even faster. It's like the fastest way to progress through the game uh, to start over, which is kind of weird sometimes, right? But in Galaxy Clicker, um, you progress back to where you, you were so quickly, and the currency is so valuable um, that uh, you can actually, uh, you kind of get faster and faster as the game goes on, which is actually really interesting to me, that you can kind of, um, your, your acceleration from starting over is so high that it actually, um, it just means you keep, instead of slowing down, slowly your rewards get slow, the amount of DPS you can, upgrade yourself by hour, right? Keeps getting faster and faster and faster, which means you hit the end of the game like like a bullet, right? You go through the end of the game, you don't you're not even like reading the upgrades you're buying anymore, basically. Um, and I thought that was really interesting. It's like one of the few few times I've seen a clicker actually get easier the more you play it. Um, which is really bizarre, which shouldn't 
necessarily be, but like it's just a weird concept because you, you play a bunch of these games and you're not used to them getting easier. Um, and yeah, you just hit the end of the wall really fast. And uh, I thought that was kind of clever and really cool. I, I might show that off at some point. Um, and uh, yeah, it's 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 neat. But like, so I guess back to Time Clicker here. Uh, it's uh, this just game is just uh, is just wants your time. It wants you to to act to to poke at it almost all the time. And it's as you upgrade as you upgrade here, um, you can upgrade the cooldowns, right? So all the cooldowns, your abilities, right, by 25%, and then it stacks with this one, so another 25%. So you can essentially r reduce the cooldowns of all these abilities by half, right? And right now, it's like a minute for this ability, and like, it was three minutes, but now it says two minutes for this one. And this one lets you reuse all your abilities again, uh, and it's an hour, right? So like, you can essentially, if you reduce this by half, right, this is the longest one, the abilities you have here, except for this one, is a... Uh, an hour, right? So you would say every 30 minutes you would click on all these things and use them. Then you would probably like these guys here would be done. This guy would be done every 30 seconds. This guy would be done every minute and a half, right? So every minute and a half, these two abilities together are actually really strong. This is every five minutes, every five minutes. So you might just go like every minute and a half you use this ability again, and then every five minutes you use this ability. And at some point, like after you, all of these are done, you hit them all or something. Uh, right, right as the, you, you're done with like this one, right? Then you maybe activate all the abilities and then use them up, and then you probably go through these again, and then you hit this ability and doing the whole process over again. So like, that's uh, that's probably like imagine if you do a cycle of like four of these, one of these, and then this, and so you do like four of these for every one of these, and you probably spend oh man, I don't know, uh, six minutes. Uh, six minutes plus five, so you probably never get out of that cycle. So basically, it's like this one. So I don't know. You could sit at your computer for maybe forever. Uh, the amount, of all of these abilities multiplied together times infinity. You just never stop clicking this game. Um, uh, this one here actually uh, increases your DPS, like for the t this run of the time warp, um, for by five percent permanently. Uh, and you can use this every eight hours originally, but this goes down to four. And that gets reduced by an hour from here, right? So, just yeah, you're guaranteed to be looking at this game every 30 minutes at the very least. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's I guess kind of my feelings on this. It, this game, to recap, uh, turned addictive for me as soon as I saw this. This is the magic key that did it for me. Um, is just being able to see all these upgrades and being able to purchase all these things, and then and then this currency never going away, right? This currency being effective for the rest of the game. Um, yeah, so it was uh, it was all just a little much there. So <laughs> that's that's time clickers. Um, yeah, I guess I thought I was gonna try and get to level five hundred. I kind of feel like I've talked about everything kind of decompressed a bit. Oh, well maybe we'll still go here and get this time cube here. Boop. So now, also, yeah, another thing I haven't mentioned here is every time you kill a boss, you get like half of the cooldown on all your abilities back and activated. So, you can chain one boss into another, like a pack of cigarettes. You kill one boss and then the cooldowns li lost last long enough to be still active by the time you hit the next boss uh, at lower levels, or if you have a s significant number of DPS, whatever you know that much is for whatever level you're at. Eventually, level 500 becomes you know you know you don't even see it; you just kind of zoom past it, right? Um, but yeah, you can just like you kill one boss with the cooldowns you get from the last boss, and then you do the next thing and the next thing until eventually it slows down enough where your abilities expire midway through the boss, and eventually you know they don't last long enough to the boss like this one just did. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, another wonderful kind of gimmick to keep you sitting at the computer clicking, or in this case, moving your mouse around. Yep. I, uh, don't necessarily, I can't really, I can't obviously recommend that you play this game. Uh, because, like, I can't conscientiously, conscientious, you know, with great conscience. Um, oh, yeah, maybe I should check to see if there's anyone actually looking at the stream. Um, the, uh, 
maybe there's questions or something that you've been asking and uh, I haven't really been able to um, answer those questions. Uh, I'm just going to see this o other stream for a second here. <laughs> I'm streaming other streams. It's weird. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, I'm so bad at this. Profile, I guess. There we go, there's the chat. Alright, we'll pop this out here. Let's see. So, yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm live right now, right? And I don't think anyone's actually on. Anyhow, um... Yep. It's <laughs> just me and you. You and me, Steve. Together last. I'm sure some people watch this thing after, um... We have some new followers. We, uh, as you might notice, we have, like, eight new followers, thanks to... Pigmas555, uh, his stream's amazing, you should go check it out. If, uh, of course, you've probably already, n you know about this because you only f are following me because I was on his channel and you, you, he goaded you into me following, or you following me, so thank you if you're watching this, I appreciate the, uh, the encouragement. Um, although, as always, Clicker Stream is brought to you by everything else you could be doing right now that's probably more important with your life, but hopefully you're garnering some, garnering some uh, amusement or interest out of my little rant about uh, psychology in video games. Um, so yeah, uh, like, where was I again? <laughs> I can't, I can't, um, I can't advocate that you play this game. Just like I can't advocate that you do heroin. I mean, like, I can't say, hey, heroin's great. Go out and do heroin because I'm not a dick bag, right? Um, only dick bags uh, say, hey. You should try drugs. And drugs are delicious. I mean, uh, you know, that's a whole different conversation, right? Uh, I, I, I'm a lot more uh, kind of like open to the concept of drugs being sold by the government, like you know, pot and stuff and harder stuff. But that's that's a whole conversation. I'm not even going to get it into right here. Um, but uh, just take me on this that uh, my. Um, from what little I've just said, my, my intentions are, are quite earnest and uh, for the benef what I th believe to be the benefit of society. Um, but just just without getting into it, just take my word on it. It's, it's cool. Uh, but anyhow, like I can't I can't <laughs> I can't advocate that you start doing drugs. Um, that's just a terrible idea. Like it's like you know you don't. I, if, if I know something is going to be addictive, I can't say that you play this game. Uh, I, I hope that you would just watch my thing instead of actually playing some of these games because, you know, um, I'm taking the hit for you. You can kind of get to see them before, you, and then I just kind of idle them for you. Like, if you were actually playing this game, you'd be clicking on it every, you know, five minutes or never stop, right? And what would you, you wouldn't play any other games ever. You would never know the joys of playing games that aren't clicker games. Um, and I can just kind of idle the thing for you, right? So you can just pretend that you're doing it. Just click randomly on the screen or something, and you know, it'll it'll be like you're doing it. But um, yeah, so like, yeah, if you're into being hopelessly addicted to games, I guess if you're already, uh, I don't know, if, if you're already a lost cause on the 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 idea of clicker games, and you just are looking for the next hit. I suppose you couldn't do much worse than playing this game. I certainly wouldn't at, I'd say, okay, if you're going to do drugs, do time clickers, don't do venture capitalism, because fuck venture capitalism, that game is terrible. Um, like, uh, so it's kind of like, you know, it's like choose the lesser two evils, I suppose. Um, arguably, if you're going to play clicker games, if you haven't played um, Cookie Clicker, you should do that because that's actually an interesting game. It's like one—it's a prototype. It's the game that made all these games really exciting. Um, that made all the clicker games kind of just pop and take over some of the flash gaming spectrum, uh, and gave birth to things like these these games, like Clicker Heroes and Time Clickers and Adventure Capitalism. Um, and it's actually got some interesting gimmicks and stuff in it, uh, which uh, may surprise and excite you. Uh, I recommend playing. Uh, a Dark Room, uh, which, not to be confused with The Dark Room, uh, by John Robertson on YouTube, which is also a very good game, 
and Dizzy Game. Uh, you should go check that out as well, uh, potentially, but that's not a clicker game. Uh, it's just like a guy doing a text adventure with his acting in a black screen sort of room thing, uh, which is pretty awesome, and he's got a funny sense of humor. Uh, and there is actually like an exit. Um, it's really hard to find, but you can get there. Uh, you can hear the wonderful sound of my <laughs> dickbag neighbor who has modified his car to maybe loud, to be loudner. His muffler is actually a loudener. Um, yeah, we're quite upset with him, actually. Um, but uh, whatever, he's not running his car all the time, just only sometimes at 3 in the morning when you're trying to sleep, and he will idle his car for five minutes before he leaves, and then go out to sell drugs, because he's obviously selling drugs at that time in the morning, and come back, and, like, come back even, like, a half an hour later, and then just do the same thing over again. Uh, but that's enough about my horrible neighbor. Um, the drug dealing, like, legally drug dealing douchebag, uh, who runs his car all the time. I'm actually more angry about the car than in the drugs, which he probably doesn't sell, because I just made that up. I just, it's my cover story for how much I hate him. Uh, I have a complicated feeling about drugs. Um, so, yeah, um, oh, no, this is level 500, I've been just talking away, and lo and behold, uh, we've gotten there, and I have been not paying attention. Anyhow, so yeah, like, uh, yeah, I, well, if you're into drugs, this is like, if on the drug scale of, of clicker games, this is like, uh, okay, let's say, I guess, heroin, right? Uh, that's a good stand mark. It's like the top, the top, right? The higher one's the worst thing you could be doing right now. And, like, um, I guess, like, marijuana's not habit-forming. It doesn't actually have any addictive things in it, but you can psychologically be addicted to marijuana, right? Just because you can use an escape. Anything can be an escape for you. Um, yeah, so, like, you know, video games can be addictive. Uh, but that's because people use video games to avoid dealing with problems in their life. Uh, that's a thing. Like, you can be addicted to reading. That's a thing. You can be addicted to seeing movies. Because if you say, for instance, go to movies instead of dealing with, like, genuine problems, like maybe, you know, you're going to movies instead of paying the rent, then you're addicted to movies. You know, that's a thing. So, uh, like... I, I, some people, you know, argue, well, video games can't be addictive, right? And I'm like, well, they can, but they're not inherently addictive. They're just like much anything. You can be addicted to drinking soft drinks. You can be addicted to drink, to flying a kite. You can be liter literally addicted to anything in the, in the world, um, so long as you are seeking that thing to be an addiction. Um, but that's my opinion on that. So, like, okay, so, like, on the scale of, of 1 to, to heroin, right, I'd say this is like a cocaine. Um, something like, you know, you don't want to stop playing um, and isn't any good for you. Uh, it's, it's, it's especially, like, not good for you compared to some other drugs. Um, but it's not heroin. Uh, it's certainly not heroin. It won't... Um, you can still live, live a functional life uh, doing cocaine, I guess, uh, comparatively to other things. I don't know. I don't really... I haven't, I haven't actually done any drugs, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Just just say that on a scale of one to stop... Oh my god, you stop... You never stop playing this game ever, and it's... You feel bad for having doing... Playing the game, but you can't seem to quit. Uh, we're gonna give this a... Seven, probably. Um, and, uh, it's not all bad, so, you know... Uh, you won't... You may may have a harsh reckoning one day, and just like you may delete your save, um, like I'm going to, but uh, it won't make you feel that bad. <laughs> Not like some other games. So let's see if I can do this here. I might be ready for it. Okay. Boop. Pew 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 pew. So I've got my spreading ability thing on. I've got my double damage thing on, and I'm just trying to kill off as much of these cubes as I can, uh, and narrow it down to just a few cubes that I can target. Um, we're sort of getting there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that I'm actually going to finish this. Oh, no, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. It's just as long as my skills hold out here. There we go. 500 and 100 time cubes. 
amazing. And there we go. There's all my skills popping again. So yeah, we just hit level 500. Way to go, us. Um, and the game goes on. The game goes on. Uh, so if we go over here to our achievements, uh, we should have this one. Yep. Defeat Arena Boss 500. And this was the point in the game where I said I would stop playing. It's just time warp, I guess. Just show you exactly how many time cubes I got. So that was like 1,500, right? Yeah, there he is. 1,500, right? So you can hit this redo button. Go back to the beginning of the game. And I'll show you how many time cubes you have. And I have 7,000 of these things. The last couple runs I've been doing, I've only actually managed to break 1,000. Uh, this is the long, the biggest amount of cubes I've gotten so far. Um, there are a lot of cube runs where you'll only get, like, you know, less than 50 at the start, and then maybe you'll get, like, 100 or so. And then, like, yeah. So this is this is a week's worth of time cubes. And you can see all the stuff is unbought, purchased and whatnot. And, like, if we go over here, I can just show you how much, you know, how quickly this gets expensive. Yep, so all my cubes were only able to purchase this all the way up to 17. Um, fabulous. And uh, and that's... That's time clickers. Look at me clicking these cubes. And here here is the button that says reset all progress. And watch me click this thing. Want to reset your progress. This is not the same thing as time warp. Your data will be gone. Oh, and I got a message from a friend. That's awesome. I'll have to talk to him in just a second. I'll probably take a break um, from here. And I will uh, uh, start up another game, actually, after this. Um, but I'm going to do that about 2 o'clock, probably. Anyhow. Here it is. The anticlimactic ex uh, ending to Time Clickers. My... Uh, special bonus edition of Clicker Project brought to you by Gazing Into the Abyss. Remember, when you gaze into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you, and that makes it like you're never alone. Thanks for watching.